Hello viewers and welcome to Sahara TV. I am Young Oprah and today in our studio live in New York City, we have the Ugokwe sisters, founders of Dashiki Pride and Africa Emoji. You might have seen them on the internet. Maybe they break it once or twice. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having us. No thank problem. So tell me, how did you guys get started? Um, we started in the summer of 2014. Okay. Um, one of my sisters, she came home with dashiki, and she was like, "Guys, you know, like dashikis," and we were like, "Wow, like we can start a business here." Mm -hmm. And then first we called up a couple family members and we sold it to them, and then we were like, we could go on Instagram, build a website. So we just followed. We started our Instagram, which is still like one of our main places of advertising to this day so we started the Instagram we followed our friends they followed their friends and war just kept building and building and building on that yes and before you knew it it took off like the, yeah. um, everyone started you know as soon as we um, remarched the dashiki uh, movement over mm -hmm. here and it's also surpassing the United States we are very grateful for that because our audience just grew and a lot of celebrities like they you know reached out to us and they just you know, want yeah, to yeah, they want to appreciate African culture, and we're very, very glad that we're able to do that at this point. Um, Speaking of celebrities, name some of the celebrities who worn your um, clothes. Um, actually, really big names. Um, <laughs> I mean, some young thug, Monica Brown, Tina Taylor, <laughs> Black China, Neo. And the list goes on. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I understand that you guys came to United States in 2007. Yes. Exactly. Did you guys start from Nigeria? Like start? You mean like start? In like, terms of yeah, designing or no, the clothing business. We were really young when we left Nigeria, yeah. so we were about 11 and 12. So <laughs> no, I was. Right. I was, I, was, I was in the signing clothes at 11, but my parents, because we're from, we grew up in Aba, which is like a huge business city okay. in Nigeria, and my parents were also entrepreneurs, so it wasn't something new to us to start a, like, you know, to do business or like, you know, sell stuff, so it, it, that part of it, kind of, I would say we've been doing since we were younger, not doing, but we've been exposed to since mm -hmm. we were younger, just being in a very business town and being having parents that were entrepreneurs too. Okay, great. Um, so now you have a new thing in the market, Afrique Moji. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yes, Afrique Moji. It's an Afro the first Afrocentric Moji keyboard, and we are also using Afrique Moji to share the African culture with the mm -hmm. world. We want to unite everyone. We want to unite everyone to their heritage, to their roots, and we are, you know, very happy that we're getting a lot of um, good reviews from it. So it's on the Google Play Store. It's also on the Apple um, Apple Store. Check it out. We have amazing designs. You would definitely relate to it, and it's for you know, guys, girls, and it's fine, everyone. <laughs> it's, just, it's just another way for us to just showcase, you know, African, African culture, culture, showcase beauty, showcase diversity. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not just for Africans; it's for everybody. It's Afrocentric, so not just Nigerian and not just African. There's different things too, and we also included like phrases from this generation like I think like one of the working out emoji was like getting my body snatched or something <laughs> was like it's lit it's lit like you know things that are like very common that modern we would say Same, today yeah. uh yeah it's lit my body snatched like I love you just words of like we would normally say with ourselves mm -hmm. because yeah we just wanted an inclusive emoji where everyone feels represented yeah and where you can what you can relate to yeah yeah okay so how does it feel to work with celebrities um, it feels like working with anybody, like every, because the thing is we build our, our company on basically, you know, making everyone feel special, making yes. everyone feel mm -hmm. included. So you work with celebrities, it, it, we, I mean, it feels great when you are at that point that you feel like you are now working with these big names. I think Monica Brown has a Grammy, Neo has a Grammy. So it's like, it's huge at that point where you're like, wow, or like Young Thug is performing with your clothes on. That's huge. And we're very, very grateful for that. And we're also grateful for our normal cost, our regular, yeah, our customers, regular customers, who we're also treating very nicely because at the end of the day, we're all human beings and everyone deserves to be given that star treatment. Yes, definitely, that's one of our model, to make everyone feel welcome. Because yeah. our customers are the ones that are keeping us in business. 
So without them, we wouldn't be in business. And we're very grateful to have all of you guys. Yeah. Okay, speaking of customers, do you have like a fan base back in Nigeria or say Africa? I know you guys are based here and also, how does that work? Um, we actually I'm sure. do. Um, yeah, we, we actually, we actually do. do. We actually do. I didn't. That's the thing. I, I, I have this. Know, you know, I, I, I work on my business. You know, making making sure it grows. But when you search things up and you see different articles about your business, and the, you know, I, I search on Dashiki Brand and I see that we actually do have um, different fan bases even in Nigeria, my home country. They showed so much support to us, and even other countries like Tanzania had a. Um, a podcast, yeah, a, a, an interview with a, a Tanzanian-based um, uh, interviewer, and it, it was great. You know, everyone is so happy that we are sharing Africa to the world, and that's something I I love that we're all standing together to say. You see, Africa is a continent of beauty. It needs to be showcased, you know, to the world. People need to see that we are we're so much more than the stereotype. Like we are all about love, and I'm happy that you know we're getting the the, the support we're getting. Well, that answers my question. I was just gonna ask, what oh. message are you trying to portray? But well, we have more. Like, we have more. I mean, well, okay, the yeah. message we're trying to portray is Africa. Africa to Af African, African culture is yeah. beautiful, you know. Because mm -hmm. like, you know, if you think back to when little kids came here, like a few years back, or even maybe now. But kids used to get made fun of for being African. Mm -hmm. And I got made fun of, you know, <laughs> the, the words, the harassment was crazy was now. Africa booty scratchers. Africa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 the most they, famous they, ones, they told African me that. booty scratchers. They did tell me that. Said oh my stars. God. Yes. Yes. It was a horrible. It was like going to school every day was like, you're going into a jungle and you're ready to yeah, fight like making hundreds of people. Like Just the fact that you were from somewhere. So the fact that we're able to, we're kind of bridging that mark right yeah. now where like, I mean, a kid can't call you an African booty scratcher because guess what? He's wearing dashiki. Like he's wearing a, a kente shirt. Like you can't make fun of me for being African. You're wearing a dashiki. So it's getting, we're seeing it getting be a bit better way better mm -hmm. for kids that are coming now because everyone here is not wearing dashikis or wearing African clothing so it's not it's, it's not horrible to be African anymore and that's probably one of the biggest things that I'm so happy about because oh, I know what I went through in school it was it was not fun at all it probably got better I can imagine yeah, I, I can not, relate I should say <laughs> yeah, it was not fun so yeah, the fact that we're able to just bridge this mark yeah. or change people's perception on Africa yeah. being this jungle of just being this place that's a dump or a waste with our clothing mm -hmm. and I'm extremely excited for that and that's one of the biggest messages and we're trying to put in with that, that yes. be and something else we're trying mm -hmm. to say is that you know no matter how young you are you can do something big you can do something great we started this business with 180 dollars you could definitely use, what yes we yeah, did we, you we could just. use a little bit of capital <laughs> it doesn't have to be that much as far as it's for good you yeah. can actually start up something if it's you know like no matter what the dream is as long as it's good um, you could definitely do it. Don't you know feel discouraged um, and it's not an easy journey. Entrepreneurship is not an easy journey but you just have to have that courage and the patience you know to continue working. Don't let anything bring you down. Yeah, and like with the young with the youth too I was like only 18 when we started yeah. and my sister was 19 so we were teenagers. We were teenagers with $180 <laughs> 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 and, you know, we took pictures on our iPhone 5 camera. So another thing is, you don't have to. iPhone have, have to sponsor us now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We didn't like. We didn't go all. We didn't have the money. So you don't have to have that much capital. We didn't yeah. have the money. We didn't have the resources to do extravagant. We didn't even shoes. have a mentor. No, we, we don't. Yeah, we, we still don't have a mentor. <laughs> oh so wow. We yeah. took iPhone 5 cameras, came in front of our like in our backyard or somewhere, and took pictures of us in shirts and put it on Instagram. I so, saw those pictures. They were <laughs> hot. They were hot. <laughs> we're, we're very grateful for that. So just the fact that you don't have to be, you know, very well educated. Mm -hmm. I, I was still a freshman in college, so I didn't finish yet. So you don't have to have that college degree, you don't have to be a certain age, you don't have to have a certain capital. As long as you have your phone and oh, <laughs> <laughs> or even less. You can do something, something big. Less. You can, do something, you can definitely big. do something with less. Yeah. So as long as you have a minimal amount of capital, you have your phone and you have basically your phone and a minimal amount of capital and you you, you're there and a business strategy too. Yeah, exactly. A That's strategy. a big one. Yeah, yeah, good. You need you need a, a good, good business strategy. strategy. <laughs> yeah, but don't don't you just doubt yourself because yeah. I see a lot of people mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, I don't know if I could do this." I don't know. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Don't let anyone.
anyone tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone tell you you're too young to do it. No, you can't. You can actually be the next um, innovator. Like you, you could. I, I like telling people be the best version of yourself. You don't have to. I mean, you could emulate the characters of the great ones out there, like Bill Gates. But just always say, how can I be the best version of, my, of, of myself? Just think that way, and you're onto some great things. And you should believe them because they're very young, eh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know the um, the Afrik Moji, the app itself is 99 cents, right? Yes. On the app store. Mm -hmm. But how much does your dashiki go for? We have a wild range of clothing. Mm -hmm. So the dashiki, which is like the prime of our company, we call dashiki pride. Mm -hmm. But it usually goes for $25. Okay. So, so we have... Easy. Yeah, so we have things from just not just shirts, we have skirts, we have pants. So everything has various range, but most of our clothing is twenty five dollars. So okay. The dashiki shirt, mm -hmm. and we have various things that go yes. on from there. Probably like I think the most expensive thing you get is probably like sixty dollars. So we try our best to make yeah, everything affordable. very very affordable for everyone because again we do want everyone to share this African culture. Like we've been saying this, and we're not just joking. <laughs> we did it in our in our in our clothing too. Like we don't want you to spend too much money. I want college kids to be able to buy it. I want high school kids, I want working moms or working dads or every single person. We can all share an African culture. And we did it also with the emoji. We make the emojis 99 cents. Most emojis or most apps are 199, but we decided to go half because again, we want every Everybody. single person to be able to share in our African culture. That's amazing. So any last words? Believe be the yourself. best version of yourself. <laughs> be yourself. Just never, my biggest thing is never doubt yourself. Like my sister said, just never doubt yourself. And again, like, you don't need this. Because I speak to a lot of people and they're mm -hmm. like, you know, you're this and this now. Like, you know, I'm just starting. I'm like, once I was just in your shoes. And again, I had an iPhone 5, not even a 6. So not even a Apple. 6 camera. Endorsement. <laughs> I had an iPhone 5 camera and I had $180 in the summer. So you could definitely... Be, make anything big. You don't have to look at yourself as just small old me. No, you're great. Everyone has this greatness in them that we all have to establish throughout the cycle of our life. Yeah, you have to actualize our potential. And when you do and you get up there, please don't let it get into your head because what happens, it clouds up your judgment and your vision. So just be as humble as you can. Be the true version of yourself. You know, a lot of people tend to, you know, start acting a different way, which isn't good because it, it could affect your vision. Just be the truest version of yourself. And my faith is a big, you know, part of mm -hmm. who I am, God. I believe so much in God. And <laughs> that's pray. what, yes, we pray a we lot. A, I have five camera, 180 dollars prayer. <laughs> What's a prayer? So I believe, um, you know, my, for my belief, I believe, you know, God just does everything. He works everything out for people. So just be the true one, version of yourself. Be generous and, you know, just do good. Be good. And yeah, good things will come your way. Okay, there you have it. Do good and be good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned.